Here today we have Jamie McLean of Kamar Capital Management. Hi Jamie, thanks for talking to us today. Um, My pleasure, thank you very much for inviting me. You were the winner of the um, Quickfire Fun Show, um, which was about um, making a presentation to investors. What makes a good presentation? Well, I guess with the Quickfire, the key was to fit as much um, relevant information in, in a, what was a very short period of time. So, uh, obviously, it's a very useful stage to have it here, but clearly, uh, you know, we're a trading fund, and it's that symmetry of risk that you know one wants yeah. to be able to get your point across. But one, obviously, with a, with a panel like that, I don't know how much you saw, but the panel were pretty extreme. Um, one wanted to make sure that. You know, you got you weren't also going to have possibly a tail risk <laughs> to the negative. Of course, yeah. So no, it's very nice to come through, and uh, you know, thank you very much, Game, for giving me the opportunity. Brilliant. Um, when you see investors, what sort of demands are they placing on you? Um, you know, transparency, for example, um, is that a big issue? Yeah, you know, we we're fortunate that due to our, due to our strategy, we can be we can be very transparent, and it's something that mm. we've really proactively promoted to our potential investors and our current investors that we share the portfolio. And yep. not all strategies can do that, so but we can. Uh, we send out a weekly update uh, with a list of names, a list of our derivative positions, and that just shows at, at times what can be with an investment process when you're trying to communicate that. Uh, you know, people may not always hear what you want them to hear, sure. and obviously by able to by being able to send them that on a weekly basis, they then have a backlog of actual portfolio and actually how it's been managed. Yeah. And how often do they want one to one with portfolio managers? Well, you know, that's you know, my role is is basically to do as much of the portfolio manager's work. But at the end of the day, clearly the investor wants to see the, the manager, and and vice versa. Uh, you know, we want to have long term relationships. Relationships. And so consequently, we want that human angle, the human interaction. So what we try to do is, uh, you know, we'll try and have that initial meeting and we'll keep people updated. Yeah. We then, they go on our weekly list, you know, as and when we get on their monitor yeah. list. They'll then come in and see Ben, Ben Spires, the, uh, the manager. And, you know, at that point, we're hopeful that they will pull the trigger. Sure. And uh, then... Then the, the IR side is very much just keeping that communication going. Mm. You know, it's a very like this year is a classic example where it's been a tough market, but we still raise money. Sure. Um, and the reason for that is because we show people exactly what we do. We're very honest. We're not always right. You know, obviously, and it's important that you communicate that and of say course. this is where we got it wrong, um, and this is where we're hoping that we're right in the future. And yeah. you know, it is a long-term game. I think there's a lot of focus on short-term return. Sure. To Clearly, and there's going to be a couple of bad months, and people must say, "Okay, well, are they still following the same process?" Mm. And that's that's the key, and that's where a manager like us we communicate that, so the investor can see that, sure. and hence why we're raising even then, even when performance hasn't for the last couple of months been absolutely magnificent. We've heard a lot about um, you know fund managers need to go in and tell investors what their USP is to really stand mm. out. What's your USP? Our USP, our edge, as uh, as investors want and we want to provide. Our edge, we're very much a process-based fund. You know, we we combine a fundamental uh, screening and a technical analysis screening, yep. and we've got a very heavy risk management skew to ensure that we don't lose money. But likewise, we look to make the best risk-adjusted return. Sure. Now. Our edge within that is is not only how we go about generating the idea, but also the fact that we perform that process day in, day out, uh, which you know is, is um, and that's how we get our returns. Yeah. Uh, that's how we don't lose money when the markets are are very hard to na navigate, and that's you know how investors can see we've got a very tight scatter of returns yeah. you know, on the long term. Sure. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for that insight and your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.